Professionally for me, it was a life-changing experience because I really felt like I was doing the best job I could to take care of my patients. I really believed that providing the best medical care I could was how I could get them back to health. And what I didn't realize and couldn't have known really until I was a patient was how much I actually had to be present for their suffering, how much it wasn't enough to just work towards a cure, that actually what I needed in those moments of critical illness was to feel that I was seen, that my care team understood my suffering, that they were partnering with me, not just hoping to get me to the other side of it. Whenever a patient comes into the hospital, I think there are a number of things that they leave at the door. They lose a measure of control. They lose some, some sense of their own identity, right? They're taken out of their clothes. They're put in a nondescript gown. They lose their place in society, right? They're removed from their job. That lack of control can be very frightening. And a lot of what this communication work does is just kind of even the playing field. The physician meets the patient as the person, as who they are. It diminishes that authority gradient and, and levels things so that they can have some measure of dignity and control even when they're ill. What this training's given me in the last five years is, is a comfort that I'm having these conversations in a way that's helpful, that's kind, that's compassion driven, and that really keeps my patient at the center of every choice that we make that's alleviated a lot of my anxiety about them and makes me just more available to my patients.